Good day, everyone. So for today, we are going to discuss about the polar coordinate system. So recall of concepts, Mona. Uh, some significant terms and variables. So in the polar coordinate system, we have the point O, which is the pole, and this corresponds to the origin of the rectangular coordinate system. We also have the ray OC, which is the polar axis, and this is somewhat analogous to the x-axis of the uh, rectangular coordinate system. We also have R, which is the directed distance of a point from the pole. And we have the angle theta, which is the angle made by the ray OC with the ray OB. So every point B in the polar coordinate system is determined by R and theta. Now, uh, here are the following steps in plotting a point given by R theta. First, starting from the pole, we move absolute value of R units to the right if R is positive. If R is negative, then we move absolute value of R units to the left. If R is zero, then the point is the pole. Next, we rotate counterclockwise if theta is positive. If theta is negative, then we rotate clockwise. Now from this, it is also worth noting that unlike in the rectangular coordinate system, a point in the polar coordinate system does not necessarily have a unique representation. Uh, for example, yung point na nire-represent sa polar coordinate system ng 2 pi over 2 is also the same point na nire-represent ng 2 uh, 5 pi over 2. Now, we also have some conversion for formulas. Given the Cartesian coordinates x, y to obtain its uh, corresponding polar coordinates, we first choose r such that it satisfies the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And then, we solve for theta such that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. On the other hand, if we are to obtain the Cartesian coordinates uh, given the polar coordinates r theta, we just remember that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So ang gagawin lang dito is ipa-plug in yung r tsaka theta dito sa respective uh, equations and then we are going to get the x and y coordinates of the point. Now here are some equations of <coughs> Here are the equations of some curves in the polar coordinate system. For the x-axis, we have theta equals k pi, where k is an integer. For the y-axis, we have theta equals quantity 2k plus 1 pi over 2, where k is an integer. For a non-vertical line passing through the origin with slope m, we have theta equals arctangent m. For a vertical line with equation x equals a, where a is non-zero, we have r equals a second theta. For a horizontal line with equation y equals b, where b is non-zero, we have r equals b cosecant theta. For a circle centered at the origin with radius k, we have r equals k or r equals negative k. For a circle with equation quantity x minus a squared plus y squared equals a squared, we have r equals 2a cosine theta. For a circle with equation x squared plus quantity y minus a squared equals a squared, we have r equals 2a sine theta. We also recall uh, some symmetry in the polar plane. So first, symmetry about the polar axis. A polar curve is symmetric about the polar axis if an equivalent equation is obtained when r theta is replaced by r negative theta or negative r pi minus theta. For the symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, a polar curve is symmetric about the pi over 2 axis if an equivalent equation is obtained when r theta is replaced by r pi minus theta or negative r negative theta. 
Lastly, for the symmetry about the pole, a polar curve is symmetric about the pole if an equivalent equation is obtained when r theta is replaced by negative r theta or r theta plus pi. Also, uh, we note that if a polar curve is symmetric sa dalawa out of three na nandito, yung polar axis, pi over 2 axis, tsaka yung pole, then it automatically follows na yung polar curve is also symmetric about the other one. So it is symmetric about the three if that's the case. So next, we go on with the problems involving the polar coordinate system. So problem number one, convert the following Cartesian equations to polar equations. So first, we have x squared plus y squared minus 50y plus 600 equals 0. So observe na yung equation na to ay isang equation for a circle. So we are going to write this first in its standard form. So we are going to uh, add 625 on both sides kasi 50 divided by 2, that's 25 square, 625. And then notice na itong tatlong terms dito, y squared minus 50y plus 625, that's a perfect square trinomial and that can be simplified into quantity of y minus 25 squared. So therefore, we have x squared plus quantity of y minus 25 squared plus 600 equals 625. And then we subtract both sides by 600 and we're going to end up with x squared plus quantity of y minus 5 squared equals 25. And uh, notice na itong equation na ito follows yung format na x squared plus uh, y, y minus a squared equals a squared. So therefore, ang equation yan, ang polar equation yan is going to be r equals 2 times 5 cosine theta or r equals 10 cosine theta. So next, we have y equals 2 over x. So we note that, oh my god, that's a typo, sorry. Uh, this must be, this must be x. Okay, yeah, x. So from earlier, we note that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. So therefore, uh, upon replacing y with uh, r sine theta and x with r cosine theta, we have the equation r sine theta equals 2 over r cosine theta. And then multiplying both sides by r and subtracting, I dividing both sides by uh, sine theta, we're going to obtain r squared equals 2 over sine theta, sine theta cosine theta. Okay, next, next problem. Determine if the polar curve whose equation is given by r squared equals tan theta is symmetric about the polar axis, pi over 2 axis, or the pole. So we do the corresponding steps na na-discuss natin earlier for checking each symmetries. For the symmetry about the polar axis, uh, we first rewrite the equation into r squared equals sine theta over cosine theta. Now, since cosine theta is an even function, we have cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. Moreover, sine of theta is an odd function, so sine of negative theta is equal to negative of sine theta. Therefore, therefore upon replacing uh, theta by negative theta, we have r squared equals negative of sine theta over cosine theta. And this equation is not equivalent to the one that we had sa simula, which is ito. So, hindi pa natin i-conclude na agad na hindi siya symmetric. We try yung isa pang method. And that is by replacing r with negative r and theta by uh, pi minus theta instead. Now, note that sine of pi minus theta is equal to sine of theta and cosine of pi minus uh, theta 
is equal to negative of cosine of theta. That is because if natatandaan ninyo, if this is theta, then this is going to be uh, pi minus pi minus theta. Re reflect mo lang ito up, uh, along uh, the y-axis. Now, yung y-component nito at yung y-component nito ay parehas lang, equal sila. That is why sine of pi minus theta is equal to sine of theta. However, itong x-component nila ay magkaiba. They are negation of each other. So we have cosine of pi minus theta equals negative of cos theta. Ayan. So, uh, upon doing the substitution, we have negative of r squared equals sine of pi minus theta over cosine of pi minus theta. And that is going to be r squared equals negative of sine theta over cosine of theta, which is also not equivalent to the given equation. So, now that we have exhausted yung mga lahat na methods for checking the symmetry, we now conclude that the curve is not symmetric about the polar axis. Now, for the symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, from our deductions in checking the symmetry about the polar axis, we have that sine of negative theta is equal to negative of sine theta, and cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. So, upon replacing r by negative r and theta by negative theta, we have negative of r, quantity of negative r squared equals sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta. That is going to be r squared equals negative of sine theta over cosine theta, which is also not equivalent to the given equation na meron tayo kanina. So, again, we tried uh, the other method, and that is by replacing theta by pi minus theta instead. Again, from our deductions in checking the symmetry about the polar axis, we have that sine of pi minus theta is equal to sine of theta, and cosine of pi minus theta is equal to negative of cosine theta. So we have r squared is equal to negative of sine theta over cosine theta, which is also not equivalent to the equation that we had from the start. So we have exhausted all the ways, and therefore we can now conclude that the paramet uh, the polar curve is also not symmetric about the pi over pi over two axis. So lastly, for the symmetry about the pole, uh, we check the curve symmetry about the pole by replacing r with negative r. By doing so, we're going to have quantity of negative r squared equals sine theta over cosine theta. And this is just going to be r squared equals sine theta over cosine theta, and that's equal to tangent of theta. Now, finally, this is equivalent to the equation that we had. So we can conclude that the curve is symmetric about the pole. So that's all for today's discussion. If you have questions about the problem or the lesson that we discussed dito, uh, don't hesitate to comment them down below or uh, ask them to your respective instructors. Yun lang and good luck sa inyong long exam. And thank you and have a good day.